Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving a factorial equation. We have n factorial equals n squared plus 11n plus 40. n is a non-negative integer here. We're going to be solving for values of n. Alright, so let's first of all notice that n equals 0 does not work. Because if you replace n with 0, you get 40 on the right hand side and 0 factorial, which is 1 on the left hand side. So definitely n equals 0 is not a solution. So given that, we can safely say that n factorial, which is equal to n squared plus 11n plus 40, is greater than 40. And this means that if you think about the factorials, 3 factorial is 6, 4 factorial is 24. So that means n needs to be, and 5 factorial is 120, that means n needs to be greater than 4. So let's go ahead and keep that in mind, and let's do divide both sides by n. Divide both sides by n. And why are we doing that? Because that's going to allow us to use the divisibility criteria, and it's all. it also shows us something interesting. So anyways, n factorial can be written as n times n minus 1 factorial. Let's go ahead and do that first. And then I'm going to divide everything by n. When I do, I'm going to get n minus 1 factorial, which is an integer. n squared divided by n is n. This is going to give me 11. And the constant term is going to be 40 divided by n. Now, notice that everything here is an integer. How about 40 over n? That's an integer too. But isn't that unusual? Well, not necessarily. This must be an integer. Therefore, n divides 40. So here's what we're going to look at. What are divisors of 40? What numbers divide 40? Let's start with 1. So we have 1, 2, 4, 5, and then 8, 10, 20, and 40. Now you got to consider the original equation, right? Our original equation was n factorial equals n squared plus 11n plus 40. Now, notice that if n is 40, obviously the left-hand side is going to be super-duper large. 40 is not going to work. 20 is not going to work. So quite a few of these numbers are not going to work. But which one works? Are we going to test every single one of them? Remember, we had a condition, right? When we looked at the value of uh, n factorial on the right-hand side, we noticed that since these are non-negative, the n factorial had to be greater than 40, which means n is greater than 4. So that kind of gives us a nice lower bound. So we're not going to consider anything uh, less than or equal to 4. four. 1, 2, and 4 are gone. So we pretty much are left with 5, 8, and 10. And obviously 10 factorial is also going to be very large, even 8 factorial. So that's probably 5 factorial. Well, let's just test it out. We only have a few values. It doesn't matter. Let's start with 8. How about that? If n is equal to 8, we get 8 factorial on one side. And on the other side, we get 64 plus 88 plus 40. And think about it, 7 factorial is 5,040. When you multiply that by 8, you're going to get something like 40,000. And obviously, this number is going to be much, much smaller. So n equals 8 is not going to work either. 10 is going to be way too large, so we're left with 5. But let's go ahead and check if 5 works. So let's go ahead and test 5 out. We have n factorial equals, oops, I already have the equation, I don't have to rewrite it. So I'm going to replace n with 5. I have 5 factorial, which is equal to 120. On the right-hand side, I have 5 squared plus 11 times 5 plus 40, which is equal to 25 plus 55 plus 40, and that is equal to 80 plus 40, which is 120. And yay, n equals 5 is a solution, and that is the only solution that works. And this brings us to the end of this video. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.